Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, I want to share a home remedy with bedbugs. Baking soda. If you've ever looked into DIY solutions for bedbugs, you've likely seen a lot of mentions of baking soda. It's often talked about online as a cheap way to get rid of bedbugs. Baking soda would be an ideal solution for bedbugs if it proves effective because it's affordable and readily available in stores. And it also offers a safer alternative to chemical insecticides. But does it truly live up to the claims? Let's find out together. In this video, we'll show you how baking soda can be a natural remedy to deal with these pesky pests. Then we'll learn how to use baking soda step by step to get rid of bed bugs in an eco-friendly way. So, no more wasting time, let's dive right into the video and say farewell to those pesky bedbugs. Let's get started. Bedbugs are incredibly bothersome insects that can disrupt your peaceful sleep, hiding in mattress seams, bed frames and furniture before emerging to bite you. Bedbugs are most active at night making bedtime the perfect opportunity for them to strike. Getting rid of them can cause physical discomfort and mental stress due to sleepless nights. Instead of costly chemical insecticides, you can save money by trying do-it-yourself methods like baking soda or essential oils. So what is baking soda? Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, is a white powdery substance commonly used in baking and various household applications. Baking soda is considered a household staple and is sold throughout many retailers. It has alkaline properties and is known for its versatility, including its use as a leavening agent in baking, a cleaning agent, and even as a potential natural remedy for certain health issues. Baking soda can also be used as a natural remedy for insects. One popular application is its use as a natural pest control method against cockroaches and ants, as well as many other types of insects. Does baking soda work against bed bugs? Baking soda's abrasive texture and alkaline properties may potentially have some impact on bed bugs by causing dehydration and disrupting their exoskeleton. Baking soda can also cut bed bug shells due to its corrosive properties, causing internal bleeding and death of bed bugs. You should also be aware that baking soda dissolves when it comes into contact with the water. So, proper application is important to achieve the desired results. Another home remedy that is gaining popularity to get rid of bed bugs is baby powder, because it's cheap and also readily available for everyone. To learn more, be sure to check out our video on using baby powder for bed bugs. There are a link in the description in the video below. How to use baking soda for bed bugs. To use baking soda, follow these steps. Step one, thoroughly clean the infested areas. Before applying baking soda, make sure to clean the infested areas, such as your mattress, bedding, and furniture. Vacuum the surfaces to remove any visible bed bugs, eggs, or remaining dead shells. Step two, sprinkle baking soda. Generously sprinkle baking soda over the infested areas, paying particular attention to seams, crevices, and cracks where bed bugs are likely to hide. The abrasive texture of baking soda will help to dehydrate and disrupt these pests. An alternative application method involves creating a paste by mixing water and baking soda, which can be applied with a brush to target some of the most common hiding areas for bed bugs. Step three, leave it to sit. And by this, I mean allowing the baking soda to sit undisturbed for at least 24 to 48 hours. During this time, the baking soda may interact with the bed bugs, potentially causing dehydration. Step four, vacuum the area. After the designated waiting period, thoroughly vacuum the treated areas to remove the baking soda, dead bed bugs, and any remaining debris. And step five, repeat if necessary. 
monitor the results by checking for bed bugs and bites on your body. For more severe infestations, you may need to repeat the process several times to see noticeable results. So in conclusion, if you're looking for an affordable and safer approach to bed bug control and you have baking soda at home, you should give it a go. And for best results and complete eradication of bed bugs, it's best to combine various pest control methods and approaches, thoroughly vacuuming the area, encasing your mattress and placing bed bug interceptors and steam cleaning your bedding area. Another home remedy that is popular against bed bugs is neem oil. If you're interested in this effect of a natural DIY remedy to get rid of bed bugs, you can check out our video on neem oil and bed bugs. Thanks for tuning in today. We hope you found these tips useful. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more DIY pest control tips and tricks. You can also visit our website, chowbedbugs.com, for affordable and natural DIY solutions against bedbugs. See you soon and good luck in your battle.